Hello there, this is Ramcat, and this is a tutorial about, well, if you're sneakily minded, if you've got a sneaky mind, uh, this is a tutorial about how to investigate people who are playing on the server. Um, or if you're not sneaky and you're, you're quite innocent and you want to pat people on the back, it's a good way to see how well your colleagues are doing or playing the game. Um, so we have uh, two servers and we have GameMe accounts on each. Um, each is completely independent. Um, and this is the main sort of page. It's there's our address. That's our account number CW. So that's our address. Um, these are two servers, and this information here tells you what pl I can click that, find out what players are playing, see what clans are playing on our server. Uh, we can see who the top player is, and oh, look who's that guy there? That's me. I am awesome on that server. But then again, it's only been up a couple of days, and I've been testing it, so I would be. Uh, okay, so. Ranking. Let's go to server number one because that's obviously our busiest uh, server. And the first thing you see is these two graphs, uh, which I won't talk about too much. Also shows you who's live on the server right now, um, and it gives you a bunch of stuff about who's um, you know daily awards, who's been doing the best today at millions and millions of various things. So that's all very interesting, I guess. But um, I'm particularly interested in what people are saying on the server. Now to find that out there is all these along here. Um, chat log is a log, chronological log, um, updated every 5-10 minutes or so uh, of what people are saying to each other in text chat. Obviously voice chat isn't uh, recorded anywhere, but text chat, this is what they're saying to each other. And in text chat you can do a search uh, and it's good to find out if people have been used, if people, if you've got words you don't want people to ever use on your server, uh, we all know what those words are, like uh, then um, this is a good way of uh, stopping them doing that. Um, down here you have, you can you can do searches for particular days. I'm going to do a search for yesterday because we've banned the word hello. So let's see how many people have Oh, look, ah, right, so all these people should be banned. Okay, so these here's a bunch of people who have all said hello to each other because um, they're all extremely nice. Uh, now this guy here, who's that? I do actually know it is, but I'm going to click on him, him anyway because he's a good example of somebody who uses various alias names. Um, this first profile box here gives you a lot of information. It tells you where this person is um, is, is from, or where he's, his computer is based at least. It's in Fuck Ya Mama uh, in Japan, uh, which is, I know, pronounced incorrectly. And his, uh, and, and that's that. But um, what's important is his Steam ID. They've called it, uh, for some reason, uh, our friends in Sweden, or whoever it is who runs Game Me, decided to call it a unique ID. It's a Steam ID. Because um, maybe there's other game companies producing gaming IDs, I don't know. But this is the Steam ID. Whenever you want to or are being asked for your Steam ID, which is um, really important for things like getting admin and whatnot, this is where you would get your Steam ID from. You have to highlight the whole lot, including the word Steam, the underscore, and all these colons and the number. The whole thing has to be copied and pasted wherever you want it to go. This long number here is your Steam community. If you click it, it will simply take you through to your Steam page. No big deal. Uh, everyone's familiar with that. Um, and there's other information here that can be added. Uh, you can, if you scroll down to the bottom, there should be like um, edit player details down here. Uh, and I don't know if you're allowed to do that or not. I certainly know I am. Alright, so that's that. It tells you when they last connected, um, the connection time and total average ping. Lots of in interesting information. But I really want to flag this this set of links down here. These f uh, five links. Now, in particular, um, is their chat. Because their chat, this is everything this player has said. And you can see there's not too many caps, lots of bragging, which is funny. And, uh, you know, nice guy, very chatty, look, he's chatting every couple of minutes on the server. Um, I say hello, he's a nice chap. So, so that's very good that you can, I think, very good that you can actually check their chat out. If you're an admin and you want to check out, you know, somebody's been reported, you can check to see what they've said, what they've typed. But the other thing is, sometimes people cheat, and it's a good way of finding out if they cheat, by clicking on this sessions link. Um, now, in the sessions link, it lists every session they've had per day. So it was sort of a crew. Uh, 
if they join like four times in a day, it will add up all the um, time they've spent on that day and it'll work out a total score. It shows the total score they've gained on that day, so the 16th of October. Um, this player went up 817 points uh, and that's his finished points. He played for 57 minutes. He killed 124 players. He died 63 and that's roughly, you know, two kills per death. Um, uh, and the biggest kill streak he had was nine. So he he killed nine players before dying himself. And look at this, he's had 26. Look, this guy's a dude. He's awesome. Um, but it also shows you stuff like their accuracy. It's like, well, okay. And he doesn't assist people very much. How rude. So interesting that you can check that out. What's good about this is you can work out people are cheating because um, if somebody's gone up like 2,000 points, they've killed 500 people and they've died once. Something ain't right. Something doesn't tally. So there is ways of working out if people are using too many headshots, getting too many headshots, or or hacking, or or doing stuff like that. Oh, look at that there. I mean, that's that that deserves a gold star. He played for three hours on the fourth of October, desperately trying to get his points up to something decent, desperately failing. Okay, so that's um, pretty much uh, that. No, there was. I was going to show you. I showed you sessions. I showed you chat. I showed you chat. I showed you chat. Yes, I showed you chat. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. So that's basically. Oh, you got this as well, by the way. There's backpacks. Click the link. Click the link. Backpack. Backpack. Back. Pack. Okay, so this is the start of the edit. Uh, I just edited out that bit about the backpacks. I did click them, and it's just taken ages to load the pages. So I, I gave up. Um, oh, by the way, this is down here. Your rank. He's a T4S private. He's a T4S private. If you want to know what that means. Um, you go to ranks and ribbons, so you can go to ranks and ribbons. If you go to ribbons, there's an overview. Uh, wow, 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 wow. Awards. Click on awards at the top, and then click on ribbons. Ribbons, and then you can see a whole um, list of interesting dedicated players. Look at that. Lots of fab, 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 fab information. Ranks is a good one click on that you can see so we've set up this thing for T4S where you can um, because most people are privates how many players are four players are corporals one player's a sergeant who's that I wonder who's that one player how do I find out I'm gonna click it blah is a sergeant awesome so it's all cool stuff Um have a little click around and do get to know it it's very very useful it's good for sussing out what people are doing what people are up to that's game me this tutorial has gone on way way too long so I'm going to stop talking now oh by the way if you found this interesting chances are you're single